This movie is going to describe several general new features of Solid 2011. Let's start with the countertops. If you go into the countertop wizard, you'll notice that now the countertop construction method ID number is displayed for you here in the wizard. Uh, sample being an ID of number one. Uh, the next one that I had created, laminate, has an ID of number two. Now let's go into a job. I have placed a base cabinet on a wall and now I'm going to tops and auto build this top. If you'll notice I can right click on the top, go to properties, and now I have the ability to change the construction method for this top. I can go from sample to laminate. It's very common these days to have different types of countertops within the same room, especially where you're dealing with islands or wet bars of that nature. Now you have the ability to have a different construction method for each countertop. We've added something new to the layers. A good demonstration of this is if I take this cabinet into the editor right click and go to properties layers go to dimensions and edit and now we have the tail dimensions which has been added this is going to add a line from your dimension arrow and it's going to draw a straight line corresponding to where that object ends this is a very precise way of looking at your parts and it's going to come in useful especially at the cabinet editor level Let's continue on by going to the job properties. If I click on cabinet and layout, you see we now have a new field for the window clearance. This is the amount on either side of the window, which will be automatically left there when you're placing other objects against it. Same thing for the door clearance. You'll also notice we have the floor to upper above reefer or refrigerator. This says that at 69 inches, if I place an upper cabinet above a refrigerator, the bottom of that upper cabinet will be placed at 69 inches. If we go to the elevation view and I click on the wall, you'll notice that over on the left we now can change the some items about this wall the length, the height, and the soffit. One of the great new features of 2011 is the new wall shape editor. If I right click on this wall and go to edit shape, I can now shape this similar to what you do for a, for a cabinet. For example, if I want to radius point, I simply click and let's use a figure such as 20 inches going to save that and let's edit this some more I'm going to add a point and another one and now let's delete a point and let's save this And as we go into the 3D view, you can see this gives you a tremendous ability for shaping walls. For more information on how Cabinet Vision can help you become more efficient and profitable, please visit www.cabinetvision.com. Thank you for watching.